What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine. I am 23 years old and I have been working as an ER nurse for one year now to date. Don't forget to follow my social media at jazzthenurse. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I've kind of addressed in a few videos, but a lot of people may have noticed. If you haven't already watched my videos on Night Shift, I have posted quite a few and I'll leave them right here for you to go check out. They have a lot of helpful information. Recently, I have switched from working the 7P to 7A shift to working the 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. shift. I know it sounds like not that big of a difference. It's maybe like a five hour difference, but I feel like it's made the biggest change in my whole personal life. Those of you who don't know, the ER is a little bit different where we are able to have mid shift or swing shift. I feel like a lot of departments like med surge, tele ICU, they don't necessarily have mid shift. Um, the only time I've ever seen a mid shift was in the ER. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if other departments also have mid shifts. I know there's a lot of departments that have on call, but I know in ER specifically, we have mid shifters, which is working from 12 to 12, 11 to 11, 9 to 9 or in my case, two to two. We also had three to three, which is a little bit later than mine. I recently switched to 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. This video will be an explanation as to why I decided to switch. When I was in training, I started in October 2019. I was initially night shift. I switched to day shift for a little bit, and then when I was let off orientation, I was on night shift. Um, so I worked night shift from January until August which is a really long time now that I think about it. That's like nine, eight months that I had been working night shift and I look back now and I don't know how I did it. <laughs> um, so working night shift, there are a lot of perks. For one, as a new grad, I think it's a much slower pace. It's much easier to kind of get your flow of things. So I was grateful that I was able to kind of get to know the department, get to know my own flow a little bit better and at a slower pace because around 3 a.m. I would say is when it really starts to like die down from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. is about like the downtime and which is really really helpful for you as a new grad because you're able to look up information get to know your patients more especially in the ER we have such a fast turnover rate it's really helpful to have that slower pace because as a mid shifter, I will say right now, I walk in and everything's literally like on fire already and I walk out and there's still consistent patient flow. Whereas on day shift, you walk in and it's very slow, you ease into your shift and then around like noon it starts to pick up and then you like end your shift very, very busy. Whereas night shift, it's you um, are really really busy in the beginning and then it dies down and you have a nicer shift at the end. Mid shift is way different. You're essentially working all the time. You hardly ever have any downtime and you might think that I'm like literally so crazy for switching to it because it because it ow that really hurt. <laughs> Why would you do that for like five hours more of sleep? But let me tell you, night shift took a huge toll on me. I always show these in my video, my big blackout curtains that I use. I've shown like little eye masks that I've used, the melatonin that I've used, all these different things. And let me tell you, I was not getting quality sleep. I was sleeping for long periods of time on my days off, and I was sleeping for very, very short periods of time when on my days on. And I think what really burned me out the most was that on night shift, it's almost like you have to work three in a row. Otherwise, you flip-flop between the days and nights. And I know some people personally stay on the night shift, even on their days off. I couldn't work with that because I am not really actually a night person on some points because I really want to talk about them in this video to kind of give some perspective for those who might be struggling with this or will be on night shift, just some things to look out for. The biggest issue I was having was the fact that I would sleep for short periods of time. So I would only sleep for like four hours, two to four hours on my days on. And I would work three in a row because I didn't want to flip flop between the days. And that was really freaking difficult. It was nice because one on the night shift, for 
for one, you have a night differential and you have slower pace. Um, I just want to point out the pros before I go on to the cons. I have better pay. Um, generally, the night people are a lot more fun and that's why I decided to do the later mid-shift and I'm thankful that I was able to stay with a lot of um, the people I already work with. Going off to cons, I just wasn't sleeping properly and I think that's obviously something that to consider. A lot of times as a new grad, you're forced to do night shift and you don't have any other option. But say, go for it um, because obviously it's opportunity. But I wouldn't ever be able to personally work night shift forever. I'm thankful that I was able to learn so much on night shift because um, it's a slower pace, there's less people. The night shift has so many less resources than the day shift does. You learn so much more. But I just like couldn't hang the sleep I was having. It was almost like I was jet lagged every single day of my life. I'll point out some things that I had looked up on the John Hopkins that are linked to sleep deprivation. And when you're night, you are not going to get a lot of sleep on the three days that you're on. And that's just the reality. Like you're at a high risk for irritability, depression, forgetfulness, and fuzzy thinking. And I noticed all of these things when I... <laughs> was working and even when I was off and I would never ever recover and, and that's why I just couldn't do it anymore but props to people who can do it I don't know how people literally stay on night shift for their whole life I'm really not a night person and it just didn't fly for me moving on to my next point I just like wasn't eating properly so keeping it real here whenever I would come home at around so it's about a 30 minute drive from my work and I get home around 8 if I'm lucky, <laughs> usually around 8.15, I'll eat, I'll shower, but the problem was some nights I feel like the reason why I would overeat when I'd get home is because I was so exhausted and my inhibitions were lowered that I didn't know when to stop. So when I would eat, I would like eat and eat and eat. I wouldn't, I would literally be to the point where I was hurting from eating so much and like I would go to sleep right after that. And it was horrible. It was like the worst pattern. Gluttony, like, I would eat and eat and eat and it hurt. And like, I don't know why, but I back and I probably because of the fact that my inhibitions were lowered, I had lack of sleep, I didn't really realize what was going on and I couldn't have self-control. Now that I'm on mid-shift, I really don't eat much when I come home because my body's like reacted to it and I intermittent fast. I only eat about for eight hours. So that was another con that I had when I was in night shift and I... I know a lot of people just like don't eat when they get home, which is probably the best choice because you should probably just eat your last snack when you're at work, maybe around like four and then like stop eating. But another thing was they would constantly bring like goodies on night shift because you know like management is around and there's not all those people who would like tell you to put your drinks away or like put away your snacks and they'd bring donuts and pizza and tacos and like it was not good overall health. And I remember like telling people that like, oh, I, I still intermittent fast, or I at least tried to when I first started night shift. And they were like telling me, you're trying to live a day shift lifestyle on a night shift schedule. Another thing, and I think this is like my biggest thing that deterred me from doing nights was I just found myself a lot more irritable. Um, not just in my personal life, but like coming on to work and I think that's when I was just like I have to draw the line here it was to the point where like every little thing at work would like piss me off and I had just had no more patience and I think I'm not like the type of person to raise my voice but when I started raising my voice I was just like this is probably due to my sleep deprivation that's when I knew like I just need to stop and I'm tying back into the whole me eating more um, another thing was my gut health just wasn't there. I felt like I was constantly bloated, constantly like burp, like gassy. And I don't know, it was, could have been also contributed to the fact that when you're not sleeping properly, you constantly crave things higher in carbs and sugar and fat. And I was probably eating a lot of that in excess, causing like my gut issues. And then another factor was the fact that when I would eat, I would go straight to sleep and I wasn't moving around and that probably messed up with my digestive system too. But that, that was just like, I don't even know. 
I've like never experienced anything like that so I was just I don't know I just like was not feeling it anymore like alongside that like I've never had issues with this is like so TMI but I've had issues like with constipation and I'm like I drink plenty of water you see it like all the time I drink water I have a huge hydro flask that I have I have like two like big Starbucks cups that I always have at my room or my desk oh my god I'm sweating like crazy but for some reason my gut health wasn't there so I was constantly constipated for some reason I don't know what exactly that is contributed to by it's probably my lack of diet and my lack of sleep but yeah, I was just having really big issues with that. Alongside that, I felt like my weight would constantly fluctuate because of the fact that I was eating so bad. And I would eat so bad for some days, but then for some nights, I would just feel nauseated whenever I was eating anything at work. I think it would be more so when I had flipped back to days and I was like intermittent fasting for like three or four days whenever I, I was off and then I would come back and then whenever I try to eat at night I'd feel like super nauseous and it was so hard for me to find the balance between eating and like feeling nauseous and not eating and feeling like dizzy. <laughs> I just like had so many issues on night shift and I know the 2pm to 2am shift isn't that big of a difference but I feel like it made the biggest difference for me mainly because I like coming home before the sun comes up and I think that contributed a lot to my reasons why I wasn't sleeping properly. I know there's a lot of other studies linked to like blindness due to sleep deprivation and just a lot of different things. But if you're able to work through the night shift, you have so many good re or um, you learn so much and it's such a good place to like learn because you're able to look up things. And that freaking differential makes such a big difference. So girl, go get that bread if you're <laughs> if you're able to hang on the night shift. But it was just not my thing. I couldn't do it and I wish I could, but I am thankful to even have the option to switch from seven to two. So yeah, that's my life update. I recently switched actually just in August. So I've been working there for about two months now for, as a mid shifter. So I really, um, sometimes I struggle with it still and it's obviously a lot different than what I'm used to but I work with a lot of the same people because most of my shift is still at night but I am still able to sleep a lot better. And I think it's more, close to the time that I sleep um, on my days off which makes the biggest difference for my like personal life and honestly when I just like wasn't sleeping properly it makes you feel irritable and depressed and I feel like getting more sunshine now and sleeping more when the sun is down it made the biggest difference for me so if you're ever so if you're ever thinking of switching to days or mids, it makes the biggest difference and I think it really helped with my personal almost burnout. So that is going to be it for my life update slash why I'm not working nights anymore. If you guys have any questions about just this in general, comment down below, share your experiences. Um, I know so many new grads work night shifts and it's really really difficult but it's just a period in time of your life and this isn't going to be your forever. So that's what I kept in mind whenever I was working nights, whenever I'm working now and yeah. Don't forget to follow my social media at JasmineNerds and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want more videos like this don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.